Welcome to America's Heroes Group. And welcome back. This is America's Heroes Group Roundtable with She Serves, She Matters, She Voices, Coalition with Partner Sister Soldier. Today is Saturday, December 11th, 2021. December is AIDS Awareness Month and National Human Rights Month. And also the, de- the anniversary, the 8th anniversary of when Germany declared war on the United States and started World War II. We have our host, Cliff Kelly. I'm Sean Claiborne, the co-host. Our executive producer is Glenda Smith. And our digital media producer is Ivan Ortega of Scouts Honor Productions. And also, don't forget, go to Facebook Live. You can see us there. You can also see us on live digital streaming, like applications like Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, and our partner, Zondra's TV's network. Go and like and share so others can be informed and be connected. And we have our great partner back, Wanda Petty. She's a U.S. Army veteran and president and CEO of She Vet Inspire. How are you doing? Hey there. How are you? Very, I'm doing well. Doing well. And we're going to have a, a discussion about the end of year cause, like things we should be doing at the end of the year, particularly with veteran service organizations like ours, like yours, people that are out there trying to make a difference in veterans' lives, especially around the holiday season hats off and a salute to everyone that does that all the men and women that do that so what do you have for us today what are some of the things that you want to share with us and i'm particularly going to get into some of the things you talk about on your on your channel on youtube you have she vet inspires which is very very inspiring it has a lot of information a lot of good stuff about how women can be empowered particularly women veterans so tell us about that yeah well um first thanks for having me i i i literally was thinking, um, you know, this is the end of the year, and I'm really grateful for America's Heroes Group and the uh, contribution that you all put out to the communities and, um, you know, around the world on various networks. And I really wanted to preface the support that is needed for a radio station such as yours to um Staying strong for long term, not just moment by moment, not just monthly by monthly and year by year, but to literally anchor in the support that's needed to get this message out to our listeners, get the message out continuously to women veterans and all veterans who are uh, trying to locate and navigate their way through transitioning, through changes of life. Uh, through caring for a loved one, and so on and so forth. So um, I really want to just focus on uh, celebrating, and and I wasn't asked to do this, but um, I really want to celebrate the uh, and acknowledge America's Heroes Group and see if the listeners are uh, just as as supportive as I am in wanting to give back. And, you know, um, it's something that when, when you have a nonprofit such as yours and what I, what I have, um, you know, we, our, our goal is not to depend on the community, but the community matters. Mm-hmm. It matters more than just giving out the, the, the information and the resources of which we provide, but it matters in the, in the aspect that we want to partner with the listeners. Mm -hmm. So America's Heroes Group want to partner with the listeners to be able to continue giving the word and giving the the inspiration and support and the um, programs continuing for the listeners. So that's pretty much what I really want to uh, give focus to today. I think that's important, don't you? Oh, yeah. I think it's really important to have a relationship with your audience and also develop a relationship that is honest so that when a person tunes in, they know they're getting reliable information, they're getting the correct information, they're getting also some information that's, that's really uh, designed for them so that they can help them and actually change their lives. We have a lot of stuff that's out there on the Internet that's, that's misinformation, bad information, stuff that's just for entertainment. But it's 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 getting, in my opinion, it's getting harder and harder to find real information that you can really act upon, and particularly for our veterans. You know, there's like we talked earlier, there's so many things out there that we don't know about. This because you know, this the VA system in general is very complicated. It's it's a lot of stuff out there. There's a lot of information out there. 
and it's not and it doesn't yeah. apply the same universally across everybody that serves i mean depending on what you've done in the military depending on uh, what type of even what sometimes what unit you're in or what type of uh, type of role you're in whether, if, whether you were national guard or reserve versus regular army or so on that affects your benefits and affects your life and then the transition part of it which is overlooked a lot and we don't really talk about it we're now i think we're just now getting into that conversation as to when you get out of the military what is next you know and i listen to you on your on your show on youtube and you talk about that a lot as far as how, how much of a struggle it can be to transition out of the military and i think about my transition out of out of, uh, out of uh, just coming out of this training because i was in the national guard so i came back every you know every week it was one week in a month i was gone but then i came back when i went to fort jackson i came back when i went to fort mccoy i came back when i went to wherever um, but a lot of guys are doing this all the time, 24-7, uh, 365 days yeah. a year. And when they get out of the service, it's like this is all they really know. So it's, so that transition yeah. part of it is, 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 I mean, we have to start addressing that and pressuring our, our, our government and pressuring our, in our military to really incorporate that into the military experience, getting, making it easier for veterans to understand, like, what is going to happen to you once you get out of the military whether you've been in it for five years yeah. or 25 years. I mean, that's critical, you know? It's very critical. And what I've found with this program, this this uh, show here, is that you all vet. You vet the individuals. You vet the information to make sure that it's disseminated properly and that people are not just putting out any kind of information like you're stating so that there is a positive effect from those who are experiencing transition from whatever era that they are in and whatever stage that they are in. And so, as you mentioned, it's important, it's imperative that we have um, information that is put out that's effective and that is true and that's authentic. And I believe that you all do that. I believe, um, you know, it's been three plus years that I've been with America's Heroes Group. And when I tune in, I find nothing but authenticity, the care and the the attention that is given to make sure that the details are correct, mm. to make sure that veterans are receiving the best and the, the highest best use of the information that is provided on every way possible. And so I want the listeners to, if you have ever benefited from anything that America's Heroes Group has put out there as far as helping you and your family get situated, helping you to transition, helping you to care for a loved one, get connected to a resource, I would love for you to go to Zell Pay and um, contribute to them. Contribute. The recipient would be America's Heroes Group, and the number is 312 312- Eight zero four five eight three one to send it to them directly. You can also go to America's Cash America SHG dot org slash donations. That's their website page, and it's a PayPal. So there, are, they set up the ways for us to be able to contribute. And I really want us to consider America's Heroes Group in the end of the in in our end of the year donating process. Because what it will do is it will catapult them for next year so that they can start out strong and end strong. Not only will it help end strong this year, but it will help for the uh, program to continue to go throughout the year. And consider it not just one time, but maybe perhaps a monthly contribution that always helps because as a nonprofit who serves the community, we don't want to go out and have to struggle. And we shouldn't have to struggle to disseminate heartfelt information to the community. So if you have benefited at any point of listening and participating as a listener or a even a host on the show, that um, I just urge you to, to donate, you know, and I'm going to start it out. I'm going to say that I'm going to donate $100 to America's Heroes Group for um, just this year and, and start a, a monthly contribution to them because they do put out um, messages that matter. And so, you know, with, with you know, you have people coming back with 
post-traumatic stress, experiencing suicide attempts, and um, MST. And these are things that are talked about on the show Mm -hmm. because this is actually in your mission, you know? (laughs) And so these are the things that we don't always consider, but it's, 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 I think it's the perfect time to consider it. And I agree with that. I mean, that is, I think, and I really appreciate you giving us that plug. Um, this is a labor of love for me. We are volunteers. Most of us are volunteers here. We have people that we do pay to, to do our production and all the hard work behind the scenes to make the wires work and electricity go through the wires and put us on YouTube and also get us on, on the different websites and things like that. Because, yes, I mean, we do have expenses. Um, and you do guys do, too, and what you guys do at Shevet Inspires. I mean, that's a, I, once again, i got to give props to your show. Your podcast and what you do on, on YouTube is it tells a lot about your character and also about what your mission is, which is helping people transition, particularly women that um, have been in the military. That's something, a story that not, was not always told in the past and was always overlooked. And you go out there every single uh, day and actually put together, uh, put together a, a business and put together an operation to go out there and address that need for, for female veterans. And I appreciate you and salute you for doing that. And I, once again, appreciate yeah. the recognizing America's Heroes Group. I mean, I, like I said, I come in here because I, I, I'm a volunteer. I love what I do. I love giving out information. That's what I do. I love to give advice. That's what I do. So, I mean, like talking on the radio, that's what I do. So, <laughs> so for yeah. me, it's just, it's, it's just a labor of love. Um, the one thing I want to And it is to- a labor of love. I, yeah. I think that, you know, that's the passion. Mm-hmm. That's the passion that we have. That's what, that's what, that's the fuel that that fires our flame, you know, or the fan that fires our flame Mm -hmm. is the passion. And not only that, but because we walked in those shoes, you know, as you mentioned, when you got out that you had, you were searching for resources, I was in the same position. And so for there to be a, a, a designated um, organization that does that on a continuous basis from Capitol Hill all the way down to working with the community and and making sure the homeless is taken care of and making sure that there's jobs posted and, and information disseminated all over the country as well as their local community, it's worthy, it's a worthy cause to contribute, you know. Mm-hmm. And what better way for us to be able to leave our mark as far as not only with the labor of love, but a labor of love. I, 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 a labor of love is good, and sometimes it takes more than that because labor of love is not going to keep the lights on. Right. <laughs> That's true. You know, labor of love will will provide the manpower, the energy, but it won't keep the lights on in that capacity. Mm-hmm. And particularly, like, you know, one thing that's been we've been blessed with is having strong partners, like partnering with the, v, the Jesse Brown VA, partnering with our, our Simon Law Group, different people that have, that have been there for us over the years. We've been on the show. We've been doing this, what, about five or six years now. You know, so I was, um, was one of the first um, uh, roundtable panelists on American Heroes Group. And the, the support from the business community, the support from um, the, the VA system, from the military, that's been phenomenal. And that's really helped us, motivate us to do it and go further. But personally, Juan, I wanted to ask you a question. Um, if you give me permission to ask this personal question of you. Only if you call me sister. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sister. <laughs> so you... That girl, I don't even know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sister. So, so, Sister Soldier, so you you mentioned, like I said, this, I'm asking for permission to ask this question. So you ended up in, in yeah. Walter Reed Hospital, okay? And so it's your choice when to answer this question. But you never went into the detail as to what, but from what I understand, I don't know the details of it. How did you end up in Walter Reed Hospital? What happened there? Because that always seems like to be the turning point of your of your life. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I um, I had a, a uh, injury that happened that was just like a fluke, you know, Um and I ended up where it was, it turned out to be, I was hit in the back of the head with some two by fours by, um, while visiting, doing, on, on doing a mission for my organization, my company, and uh, in the civilian community. Mm. And that, that injury caused me to have a serious case of whiplash. Mm. One that I didn't know that I had because as a, as, you know, we're, we're taught to suck it up and drive on. So mm. I did everything that I could because I knew that I was like, the mission got to go on. I cannot let myself fall out like this and, and so on and the 
store. I got to get up and and even though I saw stars and all this other stuff, and I ended up long term with a, a serious injury, and I ended up at Walter Reed. And everything that the doctor did to attempt to help me get better was not working because on my job I still was required to do what what it took to make the mission happen, and I unfortunately didn't have a favorable supervisor that really thought that what I was experiencing was serious. Mm -hmm. My doctor decided enough is enough, and he just automatically ordered me to be assigned at Walter Reed instead of just going to the treatments um, and then going back and having everything reverted when I went back to work. What I realized is that while I was there, not only was there among our peers who were suffering because this was right in the middle of Afghanistan and in uh, Iraq that had people had returned back with loss of limbs and so on and so forth, but I realized how fortunate I was, even in my state of being injured the way in the capacity that I could not function anymore. It was bad. It was so bad I couldn't sit up long term. I couldn't stand up for five minutes, couldn't hold my head up. And um, I recognized that God didn't just have me there because of my injury, because the grace was so good that he allowed me to begin to get healed. But my peers were not always in that same capacity. And so I watched them begin to lose self-esteem, um, lose uh, confidence in the skills that we had been trained in and and think that they were of no service anymore. And I knew that I had a solution with the background of being a human resource manager. So I, I, I um, completed my service. I was medically discharged. And I set out on a mission to let veterans know that they are more than the title that we have been given while serving, but the skills that we have are not depleted just because of an injury or a trauma experience, but that we have the ability to take and use what we have in our hands. And that means with our mind, our God-given gift, there are things that we acquired Outside of the skill, that skill was just a a tool that we put in our toolbox to help us get to our ultimate mission and our destiny, our design, our our divine purpose. Mm. And so I set out to um, share that word and that knowledge and be an example through She That Inspires and let them know that um, we can have those traumatic experiences, we can have the injuries, but they don't take away from who we are and that we are able to do more than we ever thought that we would, that that it was just an experience that we had along our journey. So that's where She Vet Inspires came from, and that's my my experience from being at Walter Reed. Wow, that was a great story. I mean, that's that's, that's, that's so uh, powerful how you can go from, you know, being knocked down but then getting up, and when you get back up, you're so much stronger because you went through that experience. I think that's so powerful. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, lots of veterans were, you know, I saw their spouses um, quitting their jobs to have to care for their loved one. And they didn't know how they were going to make it, you know? So I, I, this is why I teach project management to help them uh, work remotely because I had to work in situations that were not, um, that were not uh, an employer wouldn't hire me, so I had to create my own economy. Hmm. Wow! And also, one thing to do, veterans that are out there, people that are that have veteran service organizations, reach out to America's Heroes Group. Our purpose of our show is to actually highlight all of those veteran service organizations that are out there to be the hub of information, resources, and referrals. So, if you have a, if you have a veteran service organization, or if you serve veterans in any capacity. Go to our website, americashg.org, americashg.org, and look us up. Just hit us up so you, so you can connect with us, share your social media with us, so we can connect with the, our, our social media with yours, expand the neighborhood and the community through social media. So that way we can actually expand what we do and the impact we have in the community. So go on americasheroesgroup.org, go on to Facebook, look, up, look at our uh, Facebook streaming, like us on Facebook, like us on YouTube. And also look at She Vet Inspires. Go on YouTube. There's a lot of media content on that. There's a lot of things you do that are phenomenal for women veterans. 
you know, it's that partnership. I think the partnership in the veteran community is what's going to make us stronger as a whole and as a group and actually make, build a stronger country because what we do as veterans is for America. You know, we're, we have a mission that goes for the rest of our lives, which is being good citizens and also being patriots to our country. You know, and that's something you've done, uh, such a soldier, you've done that, you know, throughout your life and your career, and I applaud you for doing that. And also, I think it's great that, you have, uh, that you're doing great things with your organization. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. It's been um, it's been a, a journey and one that um, I'm just excited to keep moving forward with. Mm-hmm. Well, last question. So what would you say to uh, those veterans out there that still haven't quite uh, figured out a mission for themselves? Remember, they're looking for a mission right now and don't know exactly what to do or who to connect with. What would you advise them and how do they can support you know, other uh, veterans when, when they don't seem to feel like they have a mission? Well, I would say that we all have a mission, and I would say to connect, get get with a group of peers, find someone that you can share your thoughts with, you're not alone, and follow, you know, a, this is a perfect start. Getting on America's Heroes group, looking at the, the messages that are sent there, connecting with one of the community partners that can help you solve or resolve a issue that you may be experiencing and take what you have and know that you're of value. Um, you can do anything that you put your mind to and it just takes having resources and connecting with the right people. And I believe that starting here and now is the perfect place and time. Thank you, Wanda, Sister Soldier, for joining us. This is America's Heroes Group. We'll be right back. <laughs> 